like seeing seeing their growth over like the last couple of years has been a lot of fun as well. It's really motivating. But hopefully, I can get myself in shape for uh, the next time I enter. And Port's probably going to be the last event I I enter as a competitor. I'll probably start commentating more regularly after that. Which I'm sure to some of you, I probably sound like a broken record saying that because I've been talking about it a lot. But regardless. Just means I have to find uh, new ways to push myself. So. Alright, resetting their controls, making sure there are no controller bugs, and we are indeed going to be getting the classic Mario versus Bowser matchup. Alright, gonna be jumping into it, game one, and I believe on PS2, the classic. Jump into it. Alright, slow start, Banana Lash immediately jumping on the first opportunity he sees, gets the grab into the conversion. Alright, attacking on that extra percent. Banana Lash also a strong start. Again, just on top of uh, Pluto right now, maintaining this advantage state pressure. Banana Lash completely uncontested. Pluto's been in disadvantage for pretty much this entire game thus far. He entered disadvantage state, and he has not left, and... Nanowash with the clean zero to death. The birthday boy is playing hot, folks. All right, we're trying to find, uh, trying to find an opening of his own. Attacking on the percent just a little bit, but not quite that juicy uh, conversion percent for Mario to start getting uh, these huge strings. All right, tries to get the conversion into the forwarder off stage, but Nanowash going to be DIing, making it a little bit more difficult to hit that forwarder into the stock. It's the slight mix-ups on this DI that's like, I feel like it's not usually as apparent as it is with like most characters on heavies, but Nano Ash is making it, he's making it apparent. Holding onto this stock and dishing out a lot of damage on his end. Ludo though, holding onto this advantage state relatively well. If he can take this stock, he can, he's definitely still in this. Mario, definitely an explosive character and a bit of rage. Even Bowser got to be scared of losing the stock a little early. Right, that flame breath going to do a lot of shield damage. Tacking on that little bit of extra percent. And Nano Ash holding on to this stock and this lead relatively well. That side B not quite going to do it. Doesn't get onto the platform. And, but Nano Ash again just holding on to this stock. Ludo finally going to find this, put that deep cape. But... Looking no worse for it. That side B is definitely going to do it, though. Into the corner, and Nano Ash retains the stock lead. All right, solid conversion and coming out from Ludo, though. Trying to get some something with that cape there in the corner. All right, conversion onto the platform. Messes it up a little bit, it seems, but still tacking on a bit of percent. Nano Ash, however, holding on to this stock and just slowly tacking on a lot of percent from like reversal situations. Almost like what we were seeing with Samus a lot earlier. And Bowser definitely another one of those characters that's going to be able to do it. Not so much because he's slippery in disadvantage as much as it is that he just lives a long time and Nano Ash almost just reversal, uh, getting the stock from that reversal there. All right, not going to find the meaty on the neutral getup. Lua doing a good time of mixing it up and gets that fadeaway F smash. Not going to hit the sweet spot or else it would have taken the stock. These big hits are coming in. Yeah, Lou, one more big hit from Ludo is ought to do it. See if he can steal out this stock here. Finally gets the all smash on the landing and Ludo is definitely still in this. If he can find a clean conversion, but he can't take too much more abuse. That flame breath's gonna be covering so much and more to percent. Nanoash not quite going to get the punish that he wanted there, but Let's see if Nanoash trying, trying to get back to stage. You know, Ludo trying to steal this game back. He is fighting for his life to get off the ledge. Oh my goodness, the parry on the up air. Nanoash is just ready for everything, but Ludo just going to slip his way off the ledge. 
All right, just trying to go in there with a kill combo. Try uh, immediately fishing for the landing up air in the nair. You know he wants the conversion into the forward air off stage. That is the only way he can find a quick stock to get back in this. Or perhaps he can find a chain here, fade away nair to keep it safe. Ludo doing a, an excellent job of just evading all of these big hits from Bowser. But literally anything, a, anything short of Flame Breath is going to do it, and that forward air is going to find the stock. And Ash taking game one. Ludo, though, he, he was bringing it back there for sure. I think 74% on the board by the end. Definitely a close game one. Yeah, I think watching these two is always, I think, a lot of fun just because it feels like they're all, they're both very strong in a lot of the same aspects, just with two very different characters. It's like they're, they're both, like, excellent in the neutral. Both have excellent punish game. Just good awareness all around. Like, especially, I think, disadvantage is, like, where I'm impressed the most by both of these players. Like, they just find ways to slip out that, like, you don't see... F you don't see that kind of thing from both players. Especially as Bowser, I think, is it's really impressive. But Nanowash, obviously, he's had to get good at that because Bowser's... <laughs> He's big. He's put into disadvantage quite a bit, especially when he just takes a lot of damage from just straight up true combos. So, but yeah, it looks like we're just gonna be running it back to PS2. And obviously, like with how close that was, I think it only takes like a couple of minor adjustments. Uh, that said, though, both of these players are definitely we're seeing a level of adaptation and just like. Like, the speed of adaptation here is definitely a level above what we've seen thus far, I think, today. But... Alright. Ludo opening up with a double down air. And already has Bowser and Nano Ash at that prime conversion percent. 35 mid percents. Triple up till into the up airs. Continuing to get the string there. All right, had Nano Ash off stage. Not going to time the dash attack for the two frame. Uh, quite on the mark. Gets it there, reads the timing. Again, rinse and repeat. He's tack Even if he's not getting the stock, he is tacking on the percent. And, and this time, it seems Ludo is off to the strong start, but it's gonna be all about who can take this first stock, and Nano Ash is not making it easy, and dishing out a lot of abuse on his end as well. Ludo going to find the conversion, the soft nair into the up smash. Not going to take the stock, though. Bowser, a hefty boy. Finds the forward air from the corner. Doing a lot of work for Nano Ash, uh, it seems. Ooh, snap slush with the downbeat. Excellent execution there. All right, and Ludo the contender just forward throw. There's not a whole lot he can do to get the stock. That dash tech, not going to take it. But that up air into the corner at 207%, finally going to take the stock. But again, oh my goodness, calls out that jump. What a read from Nano S to keep up the sock count. Alright, Ludo trying to answer back, but Nano Ash is just a wall right now. He's in every sense of the word. It feels like every time Ludo is able to get some momentum, Nano Ash is just immediately there to halt it. Every time he's trying to get back on the stage, Nano Ash is just sitting there. But Ludo going to find a conversion, even enough to percent. And again, Bowser is still in that prime conversion percent for Mario. Nano Ash finding a home underneath the platform. Ludo getting a solid conversion. Not going to be able to find the stock, though. Keeping Nano Ash at ledge, though, that damage is accumulating. But we're going to get a reversal, and this is definitely not a great situation to be in if you're Ludo. Going to roll past that Flame Breath. Excellent awareness on the positioning there. Goodness, the jump side B from Nano Edge again. This is this is as even as it gets. That said, though, I think when it comes to these high percent uh, situations, Bowser is definitely the scarier of the two. Oh my goodness, going to get that back for those? Is that going to take the stock? Just barely going to edge it out there, and Ludo steals the stock lead right back. Nano Edge not trailing far behind though. All he needs is one good big hit. Tries to get it with the F tilt there. Jab in the side B. Not going to hit its mark. Oh, 
It's the up air into up tilt, a solid conversion coming out from Ludo. Not going to convert it into the stock, but continuing the pressure from the corner. Down tilt gets the tech chase. Up air jab onto the platform. And almost lapping Nano Ash in percent. That's it. If Nano Ash has got to take the stock now, or he's got to take it soon if he wants to stay in this game and take the set. But yeah, now that Ludo's got the stock lead, he's not going to approach unnecessarily, but Nano Ash again pouncing. He just has such a good read on that movement. He is the coin flip god for a reason. Alright, and Ludo's got to play this carefully. He, he knows just how proficient Nano Ash is at making the most of his openings, but going to find that Nair into the Jap Block out Smash. The Sea Lab game, too. Yeah, again, like that's that explosiveness I was talking about earlier from Mario. Like, what was a pretty much a dead even game for like three minutes straight. It just it went all downhill from like pretty much one solid Mario conversion. Just took him on a tour across PS2. But that said, Nano Ash for the most part, <clears throat> he was looking good, and he he was able to stay in that game for the most part. He just kind of. He missed the tech at the end there, uh, and the game kind of got away from him. Yeah, it looks like they're they're thinking about the counter picks. Oh, looks like we're gonna get a FB. You know, Ash does have the uh, counter pick advantage, and FD as Bowser in this match does make a lot of sense. Uh, no platforms for Mario to get those like super duper huge extensions. That said, he's he's definitely still scary on this stage. It's just he can't. His conversions aren't going to be as meaningful, and I think that might that did make the difference last game. So let's see if not having those platforms now is going to impact Ludo in a significant way. And a Nano Ash yet again off to an extremely strong start, just all over Ludo right now, not getting get any word in. That wall jump bear back on the stage. Ludo is going to finally reset to neutral, but not after taking a lot of abuse. Trying to fight a conversion escapes the up smash, but Nano Ash looking prime to take this first stock. Ludo finding a conversion net again. See, just like that, he's not able to get a whole lot. Granted that it was the low percent game. Bowser is in that combo percent now, but he's got to go for much more horizontal combos, and Mario just does not get quite as much damage off of that. Yeah, limited to that 30% conversion. Does have Nano Ash offstage. I'm going to keep him at the ledge. <coughs> yeah, trying to seal out that edge guard, gets the up B. I'm not going to find the stock from that, but definitely a, not the flub you want to be seeing if you're Ludo right now. Gets the, he gets the side switch up B off of that up air chain, though. And Nano Ash is going to be taking the first stock. Ludo still able to dish out a good amount of damage, but it seemed like it was a lot more from advantage state and a lot less from just combos. All right, going to get that dash tag. Definitely going to try and seal up the stock for Ludo here, but going a little bit too deep with that back air, and suddenly this is looking, this is looking rough if you're Ludo. Nano is going to find his way on there with the nair from ledge. The first time he pulled it out this set, going to find the shield poke conversion into the up air. That percent is piling on. This is looking like it could be a three stock in the damage from the flame breath. Nano Ash trying. Just, he is holding on to the sack. Ludo trying to find a read of some sort. Oh my goodness, that backer actually going to straight up beat the downer from Bowser, but that is a three stock from the birthday boy, and Nano Ash is going to be moving on in winners. Ludo falling into losers. Alright. Am I good to go? Alright. Thank you.